power of a hashtag. Hi friends, today Saksham has got a new video for you on hashtags. You must have seen that when people post on Facebook or Instagram, they also put a hashtag next to their post. From hashtags that tell us about climate change to those that tell us that summer is here to even those that tell us about the COVID lockdown, they have become an important part of our content. But why do we need hashtags? Firstly, it tells us in brief what the post is about. And secondly, if we look for that particular hashtag in the search tab, then it will show us all the posts that have used that hashtag in one place. But did you know there is a correct way to use hashtags? For example, if we are using the hashtag making conversations accessible, then we need to make sure that M of making C of conversations and A of accessible is capitalized. This will allow people to read the hashtag easily and it also allows the screen reader that people with visual impairment use to pronounce it correctly. Making conversations accessible. Otherwise, the screen reader will read it in one go and it won't be easy to understand. Making conversations sizable. There are more than 1 billion people with disabilities around the world. Saksham's campaign, which is supported by Meta, promotes awareness on how to create accessible content on social media so that everyone is able to enjoy the possibilities it offers. You can find Saksham on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram by the name of Saksham Trust. For LinkedIn, type Saksham Disability. Don't forget to check out the links below. We would like to thank Meta for supporting the campaign and for their curriculum on accessibility.